So can you tell us what the key differences are between Ripple and Stellar? Because a lot of people think of these two as the preferred platforms for the financial services industry. Yeah, right. So uh, what we're trying to build at Stellar is a, a, an internet level protocol. And, and I think it's important that that be done by a, a nonprofit entity. Like if you imagine the internet created by a for-profit company, we would just be in a very different world. And that's essentially what we're what we're trying to do is make it where payments works, uh, how information works on the internet now, where you, you everything's interoperable, you can send money to anywhere, uh, and so you kind of just need this this uh, kind of governance and structure that that wasn't really done in, in Ripple, and 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 kind of beyond that, it's important to have uh, lots and lots of participants in the network, not just uh, a, a few. So. Uh, one of the things that we're doing in Stellar is distributing the underlying asset, the underlying coin, like very widely. And I think that that's a kind of a key thing to actually make these things successful. Uh, so, uh, like, technically, the, the consensus algorithm of Ripple lends itself to, to it's very hard to run uh, nodes outside, uh, like, Ripple Labs. Like, so they're, they're running the majority of the nodes, uh, which... Uh, it should be concerning for people, right? Because it's it basically you're ended up with a system that's no better than than uh, Swift or PayPal, one of these centralized systems. The real vision here is that you have a network much like the internet that anyone can participate in. Uh, there, there's not one central entity that could kind of change, like decide that it's going to start charging or just right. uh, you know start to you know like like that that's, that should be of, of utmost concern to people. Like this is the way that this thing can actually grow. Uh, and and reach ubiquity like the only the only other kind of network we've seen do that is the internet and and it's important that it is open like that's the key component sure. and, and okay. distributed so we're going to a different economy and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go but clearly we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations we're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought we're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're gonna get di yuan digital wallets, they're gonna receive digital yuan, they're gonna use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're gonna take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, we have Bitcoin and cryptos dumping. And I told you, whatever decision that the SEC made on Grayscale, we'll be pulling back. And then plus, guys, we know we have options tomorrow. But guys, we're rolling into a three-day weekend. So do not allow the dip to scare you. We know we make money when there's blood in the streets. So definitely, guys, we're going to dip. But then, of course, that liquidity is going to come back in. 
because we know we're going to be the only game in town. Three-day weekend, everything is going to be closed on Monday because we have July 4th. I'm not your financial advisor, not financial advice. Please do your own research. But guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, we have volume, we have tether, we have USDC. And then plus, guys, we have the Fed. And of course, we know what the Fed has to do. Jerome was speaking yesterday. I didn't bring you that video because we had the grayscale situation. I did a video on that. So I bring you the Jerome video yesterday. Wasn't a lot in it, but he was with the ECB yesterday. So I bring that to you. And then plus a little video on grayscale. Now, we know the Fed is going to continue raising rates and shrinking this balance sheet. But we also know that we have midterms. We also know that ECB is going to start next month raising rates and running out the balance sheet. But they do have a safety valve in there. Now, Jerome stated they priced in this next rate hike. So I definitely see us getting a little breather July, August, and then, of course, pulling back in September. And guys, we know this is Shemitah year. We know there's a lot of distractions going on. They can pull from anything. We know the Fed is just not going to say they took your money. They're going to set up a big distraction for the fourth quarter and run us into the first quarter of next year. And remember, like I stated, if we do not get that unlimited debt selling, the government will shut down next year. Don't know the exact timing until we get there. But the government will definitely shut down if we do not get that unlimited debt selling. We know they're going to ride the Hegelian dialectic into the ground. And then, of course, guys, we have Grayscale. Grayscale dropped down to about 16.8. And we have seen them slowly dropping down. This is all part of the movie. But Grayscale gets denied. But we have a new spot Bitcoin ETF launch in Euronext Amsterdam Exchange next month. So we have a few countries that have already launched the spot Bitcoin ETFs. So yes, it's denied now, but that does not mean there's not going to be a spot Bitcoin ETF in the U.S. this year. I definitely see a spot Bitcoin ETF coming in the fourth quarter. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. But getting over into a little crypto news, we have Jed McCaleb running out of that XRP. And why he's not in a lawsuit, I have no idea. Also, David Swartz, all of them should be included. Brad Garlinghouse should have been the last one to think about because he was the last one in. But we know USDC is definitely the private chosen stablecoin. And we know that's running on Stellar. And like I stated in my video yesterday, I would not be surprised if XRP is not used in the U.S., and just in the emerging markets, because we know that's where Ripple is embedded at. Now, we have Consistence and Starkware Inc. deal to bring ZK rollups to MetaMask and Infura. One of my must-watch videos that I have in my description is Federal Reserve 2.0 on blockchain. And we know Consistence should say JP Morgan. And we know Starkware is what? An Israeli company. And I go over how important ZK rollups will be. Federal Reserve 2.0 will be on blockchain and will not need a single human. Now we have the VTB seal, the first deal with digital financial assets in Russia. Also, we have Taiwan Central Bank Governor considers interest-free CBDC design. And guys, as we see, I don't care what country you go to, they're moving over to the digital economy. And lastly, we have Binance to assist Cambodia in developing crypto regulation and exchange helping you with regulation. But guys, we know when it comes to Binance, they have big money. And big money taps who? They tap the stars. They tap the puppets, the actors, the actresses, now the TikTokers, the athletes to push the NWO agenda. We have Binance Taps TikTok star to drive Web3 adoption. And we know this technology is all about the millennials and Generation Z. They got to get them inside the metaverse. Remember, the NWO does not care about the older generation. When it comes to TV programming, they're actually programming the kids. They already know as you get older, you already have your mindset. 
It's just certain things you won't do, whether you're conscious of it or not. Now we have television and all these social media platforms driving home the NWO's message. And we know they want to bring in the robots, algorithms, and drones to take over the economy and put the sheep inside the metaverse so therefore they can download the brain. And remember the crypto teacher told you a long time ago, because he knows when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, Muto Cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home getting home stocks, the zero, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture, we have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3, King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.